In this video, we're looking at the procedure to calculate the regression model using the graphing calculator. So it says, use the data below to create the least squares prediction line and to predict the average weight for supermodels that are 69 inches tall. So they give us some summary information that would be helpful if we were using the paper and pencil method. In fact, it would make things pretty easy if we had the paper and pencil method in this video. But what we're going to do instead is something even simpler, perhaps, which is to use the graphing calculator to generate the model itself. So let's talk about one little detail first. Before we start this, I want you to turn on your calculator and I want you to go under something called catalog in your calculator. Now in my calculator, it's above the zero key. It says catalog. So I'm going to hit second and zero. And then when I get there, it's going to be a bunch of uh, phrases like absolute value, AND, angle, ANOVA, so on and so forth. Well, what I would like to do is go down to we find diagnostics. So if you actually push the D key, there's a little, this X inverse in my key, it has a little D above it in green. That little D there indicates that if I push that right now, it's going to go to where the D's are in the list. And if I scroll down, I'm going to find something that says diagnostics. So it says diagnostics off, diagnostics on. I want to turn the diagnostics on. So I'm going to put my little arrow or cursor next to diagnostics on, and I'm going to hit enter and then enter one more time and it says done. Now once I have that turned on, what that's going to allow me to do is to now when I put my data into the calculator and run the procedure to create the regression line, it's also going to give me R and R squared, which is going to be handy. So let's go ahead and do the work now. What I want to do first is enter the data into a list. So I need to do one list for height and one list for weight. Let's go ahead and hit the stat key. We'll hit enter to get to the edit screen where we can edit these lists. Now you can see my lists are filled up here, so I'm going to clear them. I'm going to clear them by doing L1. I'll go highlight the top of L1. I'll hit clear and push the down arrow and then erase what's in that. If I arrow up to where it says L2 and hit clear and push the down arrow, that erases what's in there and then so on and so forth. Okay, I'm just going to erase L1, L2, and L3. I only need L1 and L2 in these problems because I only have two sets of data. Alright, so what I'm going to do first is let the heights go into L1. Height is going to be my X variable, so I'm going to enter that into my first list. So I'll type 71, enter 70.5, enter, and then 71, enter 72, enter 70, enter 70, enter 66.5, enter, 70, enter, and 71. Okay, so I've entered all the heights into L1. Now I'm going to put all the weights into L2. So I'm going to have 125, 119, 128, another 128, then 119, 127, 105, 123, and 115. Okay, so now all my weights are in the calculator as well. Okay, so I have the heights and I have the weights. All right, now that they're both in my calculator, so the heights in L1, the weights in L2, I'm going to press the stat key, so stat. I'm going to arrow over to where it says calculate. And then down at the fourth line here, so number four, it says lin reg, that's linear regression. And it says AX plus B, I'm going to hit enter to take that option. So the calculator is looking at me and blinking, so it wants a list number, it wants to know where did I put my data, so I'm going to tell it second and then number one, which is going to tell it L1, then I'm going to press a comma here, the comma is above the seven key, and then second and L2. So second number two will give me L2, and now I hit enter. So now the calculator knows that my X values are in L1, my Y values are in L2. I hit enter, and there it gives me the results. So what it, see, what it tells you is the structure of the equation. It tells you that A, which is going to be our slope because it's in front of the X, right, is given to us as 3.88. And it gives us B, the Y-intercept, which is going to be negative 151.6997 or so. And then it tells me R squared and R. So I have the correlation coefficient R. And I have A and B, which is our, my slope and my Y-intercept. And that finishes the problem. Now we have the regression equation. And if we want to do what it asks us here at the end, which is to make a prediction for someone who's 69 inches tall, we just enter 69 in for x. So we can just type in our calculator um, the a term, which is 3.8833192. So I put the whole thing in there. 
times the x value. Our x value in this problem is going to be 69, so I'll put 69 in there. And then I'll push plus the b value. The b is negative, so I push the negative key, not the subtraction key, right? The negative key here next to the enter screen. Negative 151.699. Nine nine seven zero eight five seven zero eight five, and then I press enter, and it gives me the answer one hundred and sixteen point two five. So one sixteen point two five is the result. And what's that saying? It's basically saying a woman who is for women who are sixty nine inches tall, their average weight is typically one hundred and sixteen pounds here, at least if they're supermodels, of course, right? If they're not supermodels, they're probably considerably heavier than that, but these are for a very specific um, subculture of the population, right? So if you're a supermodel and your height is about 5 foot 9, then your average weight is about 116 pounds, which is uh, quite skinny, actually.